Hey y'all, welcome back or welcome if you're new. Today we are doing some homemaking. I'm starting out with some laundry. I'm also going to make um, slow cooker barbecue ribs. And we're doing a home project on a budget in our bedroom. So stay tuned for that. All right, so we got these bone-in ribs at Food Lion, and I'm going to put them in my crock pot. I put it on high for about five hours, and what I added to this was the Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce, then a little bit, maybe like a third or fourth of a cup brown sugar, and I also added some... Um, broth to this just because I was worried that my meat was going to get stuck to this crock pot liner and I didn't want that to happen so I always add some sort of liquid in there with it and then I just let it cook for that five hours on high while we did the rest of the things in this video so the next thing I'm going to do is just straighten up the kitchen and then we'll make our way to the bedroom most of this video is me painting our larger dresser in our bedroom where we put all of Erin's clothes and it turned out so good. I'm so glad I finally painted it because I have been procrastinating for the past three weeks or so. So finally got getting it done. I just got done planning out my meals for the week so in the next video I'm going to be sharing with y'all a grocery haul, my meal plan, my um, little sheet that I use. I shared it in the last one. I don't know if the link worked or not. I hope it did but I'll share it in that video too. Also, I do share a copy of my meal plan on my Instagram, which is Kimmy Cope underscore, and I save it to the highlight. That way you can screenshot it if you want. Um, but I'm so excited because we're going to do Peruvian chicken with a green sauce. There's also a taco soup that we're going to do. And then I'm really excited for this Italian sausage with the tortellini and it's a soup. So I'm getting in the cooking spirit, y'all. I'm loving cooking lately and it's rare now that we eat a meal that's just like kind of thrown together. Like tomorrow we are going to have one of those banquet family meals, the meatloaf one. Um, but other than going out to eat on Wednesday every day after that for like six days it's going to be cooking at home so I'm so excited of course I will be sharing those recipes with y'all so subscribe if that interests you oh my goodness my dog is having tantrums today So across the week, y'all see me wash laundry and fold laundry. And then there comes the day where I finally put it all away. So that is what I'm doing right now. This is like a week's worth of 
clothes that just needed to be put away. Funny thing is, I put away all of Aaron's clothes just to take them back out whenever we go to paint because the drawers were so heavy that I could not get them out of the dresser without taking all the clothes out. In the next home update, we're going to be doing our guest bathroom. It's the one that has the green carpet. We're going to be taking that out, replacing it with vinyl uh, peel and stick planks. And also we're going to be getting a new toilet because ours, Erin believes, is like leaking or something. So that will be happening very soon. All right, and for our holidays of the day, it is February 21st when you are watching this. Y'all corrected me on the last video. I accidentally said March, and now I can't remember if I actually like looked up March's holidays or if I just said March in place of February. Nonetheless, here are a couple of the um, like holidays for today. Library Lovers Month. I will say, I love a library. I find it, I just think it's nostalgic. I don't know why I do. Maybe because in school you have like your library. But there's some sort of nostalgia. It's so quiet. And I don't know, I just feel like the people that go to libraries are just my kind of people. If that makes sense. Like I just feel like they would accept anybody. So, I love a good library, okay? <laughs> the other one I was going to share, and this will be the only two I share, is it is National Sticky Bun Day, which sounds delicious. I, would, I wouldn't mind having one of those, honestly. <laughs> so, after I get done making my bed, I will be tearing apart my dressers so that we can get this painting underway. Here is what we're working with. It's actually a really nice dresser in my opinion. It's got a lot of space. It's pretty worn out as you can tell, but it's a really pretty like cherry wood color. 
but it's super dark as you can see so it's, it almost looks black compared to the white walls so we are going to be painting it the storm cloud blue by Valspar you can also get it in Sherwin Williams it's the same brand just a different um, quality and price range um, I've had both Sherwin Williams and the Valspar Ultra and I personally cannot tell a difference so if you want to save money definitely go for Valspar Ultra you don't necessarily have to worry about getting the Sherwin Williams unless you just want to um, but this one the coverage is really good you could get away with one coat if you um, I don't know how to explain this but like depending on how you use the roller depends on how if you would be able to get one coat or not out of it um, I feel like the the lighter I go as I'm rolling and not going over the same area twice does give me like a pretty even coat without any of those little like you know the little bits that you feel like oh I gotta go back and get this area that's the best way I can explain it but for this job I'm doing two coats because I just didn't want to like be particular about it I was like I have put this off long enough let's just get this paint on here and it looks so much better it's a lot brighter of course and it just matches the like aesthetic of the bedroom way more and now I feel like the bedroom is one whole unit instead of like this random dark dresser in the corner so love this love small home updates that make a big difference y'all know I am like the one that is always painting things as my home updates and it's because paint goes a long way and it is pretty much affordable for everybody's budget so you know there you go anyways this is all I used if you don't know my hack put a trash bag over your tray for easy cleanup. Also, if you're going to be doing more than one project with your paint tools, put those paint tools in a Ziploc bag. Make sure it's kind of airtight. Stick them in the refrigerator. The paint stays wet and you will only have to wash or like dispose of your roller and brush whenever you've you're completely done instead of having to wash them after every single use y'all I could never <laughs> I could never I didn't know these hacks a couple of times and then I learned them myself and I'm like oh it, I am never going back to washing a roller every time I got done using it or washing that paint tray I will use the Ziploc bag and waste a trash bag it's worth it Against my better judgment, I did decide not to sand this dresser. If I wanted the best finish, I would sand it. But I was okay with doing it the lazy route. Now, it's up to you if you sand your furniture or not. It's definitely going to come out better in the end. Um, but I feel like, you know... If it's your house and your stuff and you want to skip that part, no harm done, right? <laughs>
an announcement. I did create new merch for my store. It is always linked down below. Um, you can actually see it pop up underneath the videos, but I created some new spring and summer ones that I hope y'all enjoy. So that will all be down there in the description box. After I let the first coat dry, I did flip it back over on its right side and one of you gave me this hack and thank you so much for that because it definitely helped out a lot. I think I got a much cleaner paint job with flipping it upside down first versus just trying to paint it on its, you know, where it's correct. <laughs> I want to say right side up. I think that's correct. Anyway, so now we are going to be painting the top of this. And another reason why I didn't sand this is because the top of this dresser is uh, pretty in pretty good shape. There's not a lot of chips or anything versus the little dresser that we did the first time with this paint. We needed to sand it because it was already like really uneven on the surface. And all of that would have shown through the paint if we had just went and painted straight on it instead of sanding it. But this one is in pretty good condition already.
So now it's time to get these pull-out drawers painted. And y'all, I should have taken the hardware off. I don't know why every time I look at this dresser, I think that the hardware is attached to the drawer and it's not. I can unscrew it. It's, it's because it looks just like the drawer, the wood. So I just think that the handles are like built in somehow. Anyways, don't be like me. Take the hardware off. Even though it takes like a few minutes to do, I have, trust me, much easier to paint. <laughs> to paint straight and not have to do what I did because the painting around this hardware was actually not the easiest thing in the world. So while I'm painting these drawers, I'm just going through them while I'm at it and folding everything that came unfolded. And then I'm also kind of organizing things like the way I want them to go back in the drawers. That way when I do go and put everything back together, it's just a lot easier because I've already done all the work. So have you kept any of your New Year's resolutions or if you call them goals, have you gotten any of your goals accomplished for the year yet? Are there any that you decided you didn't really want and there was other things that you wanted? Let me know in the comments down below.
after two coats dried, I went and put these back together. This first one was so hard to get back in because it's at the bottom and it's a really tight fit between the dresser and the bed. And so I was just doing my best. I actually cut it out like a clip out because it took me probably like two or three minutes to get that thing in there but the other drawers were so easy to put back in and then since I did go ahead and get everything kind of organized it was a lot easier to put everything back in the drawers and now there's the organization to it so all of the like undergarments are in one drawer shoot um shorts and t-shirts are in another drawer and then the last drawer is nothing but pants and then we also have a pull out drawers underneath our bed so I put some of the pants in there as well that way the dresser drawers weren't as full as they used to be but I love how this turned out I'll show some before clips too it just looks so good I'm just so glad now that it matches the other dresser, but here's everything that needs to go back in these drawers now. So I put this at four times speed. I figured it would be super motivating for y'all, any of you that have a ton of laundry to get done. <laughs> and here is an after shot and it is night time so it's a little bit darker than it normally would be but I'm still so happy with how it turned out now everything matches in here I will eventually probably switch out my curtains And now I'm so excited to decorate for spring and Easter in this room. To 
And before we go, I'm going to share with y'all our dinner. So I made some maple and cured bacon baked beans. We had coleslaw, potato salad with our ribs right here, which were falling off the bone. They were so delicious. So let me know if you're going to have some ribs in a crock pot soon. All right. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you back here for another video Thursday. Bye.